Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a collective summer try on haul. I have a lot of really cute pieces in this video. A lot of pieces for this hot ass weather. Okay, y'all know it is scorching. Okay, I don't know where y'all live at, but y'all know I'm in Texas and it is freaking hot okay it's hot so i have a lot of really cute pieces to wear for this hot weather and also i will have everything linked down below in the order that it was shown in the video this video i'm going to be separating everything by where it's from so like asos she and pretty little thing instead of like tops bottoms and all that because i feel like it could get a little jumbled up if i do it like that and i feel like it's a lot easier to have it separated by where it's from so in the description box i will also have it in the same exact order so if it's shein asos plt in the description box it'll be shein asos plt with all of the links underneath as well as my size and i will have my measurements so you can use me as a reference when you're shopping and i think that's all i have to say so with all of that being said we're gonna get right into the video give it a huge thumbs up okay before we even get into the video pause for a second give it a huge thumbs up because y'all I know y'all want more hauls. I know y'all want more fashion videos in general. I have a couple of lookbooks coming, so stay tuned for that. But definitely give this video a huge thumbs up and we're gonna get right into it. So first things first is the skirt that I was wearing in the intro. This is from Urban Outfitters and I have had my eye on this skirt for a little while. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan only because a lot of the times some of these pieces from Urban Outfitters are literally quote unquote custom. So it's not gonna look exactly like the photo. So as you can see, the pockets are kind of hanging down and it is extremely short. And I'm just like, ah, it's cute, but it's definitely not giving like the photo. And to be honest, I am just going to go ahead and do this myself. It seems like a very easy DIY situation. So I'm going to just go get some camo pants and cut it into a skirt and just do it myself. So yeah, as you can see here, the skirt the pockets just hang and it just doesn't look good. It looks way better to me without the pockets hanging, just like the photo if you go back. And yeah, this I got in a size medium, but your girl is gonna be returning it because it's not giving what I thought. So next up we have this dress, which I showed you guys, I believe on my story uh, like a month ago, but this is from Skims and I have been loving Skims. Okay, say what you want, but it's amazing quality. It is just, it looks so good on the body. The material is everything. It's soft, comfortable. I love everything that I've ever got from Skims. So if you're not a huge fan, then that's cool. But yeah, this dress I got in a size small and I think it fits me perfectly. It is so comfortable. It's not too tight. It also kind of sucks you in even though it's not extremely tight. So I don't know what kind of magic they got going on in this fabric, but it's everything. And this is the photo that I posted on my story when I first got this in the mail and my body was bodying, okay? Super, super cute, I love this. I'm 5'7", my measurements will be down below, of course, but it's very long on me. As you can see, it literally goes past my feet. So this one is definitely going to be a fave. So next up is this top right here, and this is from the brand Darker Wave, I believe. And this is also the same brand from the photo that I posted on my Instagram with the black top and the cargo skirt. I think y'all know what I'm talking about, but that's the same brand. And this shirt I just thought was so freaking cute. I love the color. I love everything about it. I got it in a size medium and it fits me perfectly. And this is the back. Love this. Like I just love the little keyhole, the crisscross, the little bit of under boob. You don't have to do that, but that's just how the shirt was fitting on me and I think it looks really good and just, I love it. I just put it on with these cargo pants, which aren't a part of this video, but you guys will see these very, very soon and where they're from. But this one is definitely a favorite. Next up we have this top and I just kept on the same pants even though it doesn't really go. But this top is from Jaded London and I've had this top for like three months. I have an outfit and everything ready to go. I've had this outfit ready to go for the last like three months and it's insane. I have not posted it. I haven't taken a picture in it yet, nothing, but I definitely will very, very soon y'all. Forgive me for not posting on Instagram. It's so damn hot outside and I cannot with the weather to get this content, but I will be, I will be getting back out there soon. So definitely stay tuned. But this top I got in a US four, I believe. And it is pretty snug, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely could have gotten away with a six. I thought it was gonna be very stretchy based on the material, but it's definitely not. 
and on the sides it does ruche but you can pull it down or pull it up as high or as low as you want to and I just like it really ruched because I think it's cuter that way so next up we're moving on to this really gorgeous dress that I got from pepper mayo I seen this on a ad on Instagram and for whatever reason, I never really paid too much attention to the ads, but when I saw this dress, I was like, I need it. I need it. I'm not going anywhere, but I need it. Okay, so this dress I got in a size small slash medium, if I'm not mistaken. If that's not right, it'll be in the description box per usual, but the back is just so cute. It's a halter neck. You tie it in the back. It's super low. It's just, it's just giving. Like this dress, you definitely have to wear on a vacation, a beach trip, whatever. Underneath, I do have on those same biker shorts that I had on just in case it was a little too see-through, but you definitely don't have to do that. You can definitely wear a bathing suit or whatever it is you want to wear underneath it. But for the sake of the video, I just put on, I kept on the biker shorts underneath just to be safe. So next we have this top from Rouve Shop. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure why I got this. This is in a size small and it's like a knit material. And as you can see, it's... It kind of goes around your neck a little bit and then the front just snaps almost as if it's all it's like a bra backwards if that makes sense but i pulled down the top because i think it looks a little bit more flattering on me that way but you can wear it like the model did in the photo but for me i have very broad shoulders so it just looked like i was being choked honestly <laughs> which i wasn't a huge fan of i really like this top and to be honest i don't really even know where i'm gonna wear something like this but i just thought it was very unique and different and I love trying new things, so I decided to get this and I really do like it. I'm just trying to figure out the vibe that I'm going to be going for when I wear this. All right, so we're moving on to Princess Polly and I actually really love Princess Polly. I worked with them in the past and they just have really, really good quality, really cute pieces. But this top I got in a US 4 and it is just a bandeau-ish top and it has this really cute graphic print on the front and it fits nice and snug. It's not too big. As you can see, it literally just goes, forms right to your back. I thought it was gonna be a little big at the bottom, but the way that they made the shirt, it fits, if that makes sense. Your waist, your back, everything. So I really, really like this a lot. It did kind of stretch out a bit because I did put on a strapless bra just for the sake of the video. I didn't want the shirt to be like falling and stuff because you know, I ain't got nothing to hold it up, but I love this. So next we have this knit bralette. And this I got in a size small or extra small slash small only because it doesn't have any sort of like adjustable straps. It doesn't have a clasp in the back. It doesn't have any of that. And I was like, listen, if I get anything over extra small, small, it's going to be sagging. It's going to be too big. So I went with the extra small, small, and it fits really, really well. If you do have an issue like with the sizing, you could easily just like tie the straps in a knot. But I didn't want to have to do that because it just looks kind of tacky. So I just went with the smallest size they had. And if your bust is bigger, then I would definitely go true to size because as you can see, I kind of have like a tiny bit of under boob. So I definitely could have gone to a medium, but like I said, it would have been a little bit too big in the strap area. So with this one, I would just say true to size if you have a bigger bust. Next up, we have this maxi skirt and this, I absolutely like the color. Beautiful. Okay, they have this in other colors, but I have been loving this green lately. So I was just drawn to this when I seen it. This skirt I got in a US 8 because you can wear it low rise or high rise. And I felt like a US 6, if I wore it low rise, would have been a little bit too tight around my hips. So I went with the US 8 and it actually fits really well high rise and also low rise, which I'm going to show you in a second. And it is a nice length as well. I do have on sandals so if I put on heels with this low rise it wouldn't be like a high water situation but if I wore this high rise with heels then it, it wouldn't be touching the floor so you know do with that information what you will but I like it either way I think it looks cute low rise high rise I just threw on this really cute mesh top that I showed you guys in a previous haul but I wouldn't wear it with this top I just did this for the sake of the video Next, we have this skirt from ASOS, and we're moving on to the items that I have from ASOS. And this is very different. I got it because I don't have anything like this. I like the color. I like the whole vibe of it. It has like a V-cut situation. The zipper in the front is how you actually put the skirt on. 
it's like distressed and kind of rugged on the edges. The waist is a little bit too big, but I literally had to get a US 8 because this is zero stretch. So if I would have got a smaller size, I wouldn't have even been able to zip it up in the first place. So yeah, this I just thought was really different and unique and I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this top, but I do think that I would wear something very similar. Maybe, I don't know if I would do heels, a boot, I'm not really sure. Let me know down below how you guys would rock this skirt. So next we have this checkerboard mesh sleeveless, a little bit of a high neck top. And this I got because I have a outfit planned. I literally have the look ready to go. It is so, so cute, simple, but kind of cute and funky at the same time. But this top I got in a US 4 because it's mesh and usually mesh is pretty stretchy. So you can wear it out. It's not a bodysuit as you guys can see but you can wear it out tucked in however i think it looks a little better tucked in personally i feel like when i have on a top and i have it like full length it kind of like cuts my body off it kind of makes me look disproportionate if that makes sense so i like to always tuck my stuff in to kind of give it a little bit more or give myself a little bit more shape and kind of balance out my body a little bit if that makes any sense at all but yes i love this Next we have one item from PLT and I saw this and I just thought it was so, so cute. After I purchased it, I realized it was from the petite section, but honestly, it fits just fine. I got this in a US 6 and there's not much stretch in this, to be honest. So I wouldn't say size down, especially if you have a bigger chest. You definitely don't want to size down because then you're going to have a lot of under boob and the top is very, very cropped. And like I said, it is from the petite section. So I would definitely go with your true to size or size up. But this I got a US 6, which is my true to size. And y'all know your girl ain't got much going on up here. So it fits me perfectly. I love the way that it's cut. I love the like halter neck. I love all of this. I love the whole shape of this and everything. I just threw it on with these cargo pants, but I would definitely wear it a little bit differently, something probably a little bit more extra at the bottom, maybe like a pattern or something. So next we have this dress for Miss Lola and I have had this dress for like, honestly, since like February, but I just have nowhere to go and wear it. So I've just been holding on to it, but I got this in a size medium and I absolutely love it. I do still have my bra on, which I definitely should have taken off, but y'all know it's just for the video, so yeah. This is so cute, definitely need to go on a trip somewhere. It's giving Tulum, it's giving Cabo. I just love this dress so much and I cannot wait to wear it. So next we're moving on to items that were sent to me from Los Angeles Apparel. You guys know I love Los Angeles Apparel. I have so many pieces from them. I've showed you guys in previous videos how many items I have from them. I have so many crops, leggings, all that from them. So. I'm so, so happy that they sent me over these items because I love the brand. So this is the Garment Dye Short Sleeve Crop Top in Red, and I always get these in a size medium, and they fit me so freaking good. This is like my favorite crops in my collection currently. I absolutely love this brand, and the quality is amazing, and it's sustainable. I just love it, y'all. Definitely check out Los Angeles Apparel. But next up, we have another item from them, and this is the Garment Dye classic tank bike tard in black this i got in a size medium as well and this is so cute it fits me perfectly there's no gapping it's just very very comfortable this is definitely something i would personally feel comfortable wearing outdoors and y'all know that your girl is not big on like jumpsuits and stuff because they never really fit me that well but i think that this one fits me really really comfortably and it's definitely one of those summer pieces that you can throw on with like a button down or even a crop denim jacket and it will look really cute so next we have the garment dye leggings in black and the garment dye one shoulder crop top in black and i got both of these in a size medium and like i said y'all medium is just my size in los angeles apparel and they fit so so well and so comfortably i love to wear these sets to run errands a lot of the times I wear these to the movies because they're super comfortable with like a jacket, a cardigan, anything like that. And it's just a really cute, very simple look. And they have so many different colors as well. They have literally every color you can think of. And I pretty, I'm pretty sure I have 
most, if not all, of the crop and the legging colorways. I think, I'm pretty sure I do, honestly. I have so many of them, it's ridiculous. And the very last item I have from Los Angeles Apparel are these shorts, and these are in the color celery. These are the garment dye heavy fleece short shorts in celery green. And these I got in a size large. There aren't any pockets on the sides, which is what I was showing you, but there is a pocket in the back. The waist is nice and elastic and very comfortable. And these shorts, so cute, like so, so cute. I had just recorded a video on my phone, so that's why I picked up my phone. But I got these shorts to wear with these shoes, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It doesn't look bad, but the green check matches the shorts. So I'm still on the fence about that, but I just wanted to show y'all that. But these shorts are so cute. They have it in so many other colors, just like the other items that I just previously showed you. And I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get some more because these are perfect for summer. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the items from Revolve. And these shorts I showed you guys on my story like a month ago. And I told you guys they were probably like the best fitting shorts ever, like that I own currently. And these are a pair of 501 Levi's shorts and I got these in a 30. Originally, I got them in a 20, a 29, but they were a little bit too snug. And your girl is, you know, working out and stuff. And I noticed that a lot of my clothes are starting to become a little bit tighter because my lower body is growing. So yeah, I'm building a lot of muscle. So I had to go ahead and return the 29 and get a 30. So now they fit really, really nice. And I still have a little bit of room to kind of grow into them. And then of course, once you kind of walk around, they get nice and loose and they just fit perfectly. Next, we have this burgundy mesh top. And this is from, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like M-I-A-O-U or something like that. But they have so many cute mesh tops. They have like really cute prints love this brand i think they have some really, really cute pieces but i have had my eye on this top for a minute and it was sold out for pre-order for a a long ass time like i was like listen i need the shirt asap and finally it came back in stock and right now i feel like i feel like it might be out of stock again i'm not sure if not out of stock completely it's almost completely out of stock so there's like a few sizes left but this i got in a size large because I was kind of torn between a medium and a large based on like reviews I've seen and the description of the, the top. I definitely could have gotten a medium because I wanted it to fit a little bit more like this, you know, a little bit more fitted, but I do think that it fits really cute. And if anything, I could just kind of like tie up the back. Not that big a deal. Next up, we have this black faux leather kind of corset, I guess you could say. Not really, but kind of. It is a square neck, which I love. I love me a good square neck. I feel like it's very flattering on me personally. I have very broad shoulders and I would think that a square neckline would look a little bit more linebacker-ish, but honestly, it doesn't look that bad and I prefer a square neck over anything else. And this I got in a size medium. And as you can see, it's a really, really cute top. Like it is so freaking cute and it zips up in the back. You might need a little help, but I was able to do it myself. And I also got it in another color because I was so obsessed. And as you can see here, it's the same exact top, but it, it's in this gorgeous, like fuchsia metallic pink. Y'all, insane. Like this color is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, the light reflecting off of it, it just looks amazing. I had an outfit plan for this for the last like month or so but it didn't work out it's not working out the way that i want it to because i'm not able to find bottoms that i want to wear with this look so i kind of gotta like you know go back to the drawing board <laughs> but this top is absolutely gorgeous and i think this color looks amazing on my skin and as you can see it's the same in the back with the zipper so so cute i got this one in a medium as well and i cannot wait to wear this top like i cannot wait Next, we have this like knit shoulder pad crop sweater. And yes, it is a bit hot for this, it is. But in the winter, or not the winter, in the summertime, you can get away with wearing certain things depending on where you are. So if you're not indoors, then you should be okay wearing something that's a little bit, a little bit warmer for the weather, if that makes sense. So this I got in a size medium. And as you can see, the shoulder pads are nice and fluffy and just shoulder patterning, okay? That made no sense, but y'all get it. This is so cute. It does have a pair of matching shorts, but 
I'm not like a two piece set girl. So I like to mix and match. So that's why I only went with the top. But this is super cute. I love the color and it's just super duper comfortable. Probably save this for fall. So next we have this really cute crop top. And as you can see, it has these really long like wrap around straps in the front and you just kind of tie it to almost look like, I don't really know the word for it, but as you can see here, I'm just tying it and it's giving like a shirt on top of a shirt, if that makes any sense at all. But this is so cute to me. I got it in a size medium and it fits really, really well. And you could tie this however you want, but I just kind of went with how the model had it tied because we're not completely how she had it tied, but basically. So yeah, this would look really cute dressed up or dressed down. I think this will look really nice with jeans or even like some high-waisted straight leg like dress pants. I think this is a very versatile shirt, which is why I picked it out. So next up we have us a low rise denim skirt. And this is a little big, a little big on me in the waist area, but in order for it to fit me at the hips, I had to kind of size up. So I got this in a 30, but as you can see, the waist does have some extra space in there. So all I would have to do is go get this taken in, but I'd rather for it to be too big than too small. And as you can see, it has like some studs on the pockets and it's really, really cute, but I definitely need to go ahead and get it taken in. And I wouldn't wear it with this top. I just kept it on because I didn't have anything else at the moment. So next we have a pair of high-waisted jeans and I had my eye on these jeans for minutes only because the wash is gorgeous. I think this wash is absolutely, I love it. And then the length is straight leg. They just look really nice and they look like great everyday jeans. So these I got in a size 30 as well. And as you can see, the waist needs to come in. These jeans are 100% cotton, okay? So there is no stretch whatsoever. So I always kind of have to size up a little bit and I always kind of sacrifice in the waist area, but I can easily go ahead and get these taken in and we're gonna look absolutely gorgeous and perfect. I love this wash, y'all. I love the wash, I love the length. They fit me perfectly in the try-on portion. I did have on a pair of heels, which I'm actually gonna show you in the next clip, but they're super long and I'm 5'7", so the inseam has to be at least 32 and a half for the way that they fit with these heels. So if you are tall, it is very tall girl friendly. So these are the heels that I had on with the jeans. And as you can see, they are so gorgeous. I love these. I feel like these are just like grown woman, sexy, but it has like a really unique element to them. So the heel looks like a chain. So that's what really drew me to these heels. And they're actually very, very comfortable. And although the strap is very skinny and it looks like there isn't much support, you do have the support from the ankle strap. So to me, I think these are fairly comfortable, but I love the heel. So next we have the, I was gonna go with the shorts first, but we're just gonna go with the crop top. So this crop top is from Revolve as well, and it's from the brand Simon Miller. And this I got in a size medium. I have this really cute outfit in my mind that I wanna wear with this top, and I'm saving it for the end of August because I'm going somewhere and I'm so excited, but I'm just getting my looks ready for that. These shorts are also from Revolve and these are in a size 29 and they fit really, really well. Here's a close up of the crop top. As you can see, it has a really cute, bold font and I just love the colors in this and I have a really cute outfit in mind. So definitely stay tuned for that. So next we have this tassel cardigan and i really like this i mean at first i was a little mm, about it as you can see it's definitely giving more of like a pastel yellow than it is in the photo i feel like the photo is giving like cream and in real life it's giving like pastel yellow so yeah just so y'all know that's the true color the color that you see in the video clip is what it looks like in person and this i got in a size medium and i like the way that it fits it fits very slim i'm not exactly sure how I would wear it, like with what bottoms, but I would probably go for something similar to this. All right, y'all, so next up we have this top, okay? First of all, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love this top. I got it in a size medium, and I do have on pasties underneath here, and this is freezing. Like, y'all, I had it laid out ready for the video, and the AC was on, 
And I was like shivering when I put this top on because of the stones, they're super cold, but once they warm up, you know, you're good to go. But this top is a showstopper for sure. It has a chain strap in the back and also a chain halter neck and it is absolutely gorgeous. It wouldn't focus, but I thought it looked really pretty because it was shimmering. But yeah, this one is like event worthy. If you have a birthday or if you have like a very extravagant situation that you want to get something for, this top is definitely giving. Okay, I love this. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear it because I have nothing extravagant coming up, but she's gonna be in the archive, okay? So next we have this bikini bottom and this bikini top. And these bottoms are super cute. They kind of reminded me of like Emilio Pucci. And then this top has like a underwire situation going on. And this top I got in a size medium and I also got these bottoms in a medium. And I kind of wanted to break it up. As you can see, the top for these bottoms was like a bandeau with the same print. But y'all know I'm, you know, two piece sets. I like to break it up. So that's why I got this plain white top. And I have a really cute outfit that I have planned for this. So stay tuned for that. I will be doing a swimsuit lookbook situation on how to style swimsuits for like pool parties, beach days, stuff like that. So the very last item we have in today's video is this gorgeous, gorgeous swimsuit. And this I just thought was just gorgeous y'all for real, for real. This color is absolutely amazing. And I knew it would look good on my skin because ugh, the melanin, the gold is just popping. It's kind of like gold and kind of a chartreuse almost. It kind of gives like green. Y'all see that? Just me. All right, but I got this in a size medium and I think it looks really nice. Definitely gotta go to somebody pool party somebody beach because I need to wear this but this is the last item I have in today's video so definitely be sure to hit this video with a thumbs up thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one bye